thank everyone for coming out and supporting us tonight. Uh, These two gentlemen are the they're the lead they're the leaders of the new wave of ski films. There was no extreme skiing when we were doing it. A ski school director uh, usually was in the film because he was the best skier at the resort. And anybody that could make six turns without falling down was an extreme skier. That's all changed now. And uh, I'm glad that I was where I was at the time, and I'm glad that these gentlemen are where they are. I thought Swift Sound was awesome. Uh, everybody wants to tell a story in this day and age, and a uh, few people do it well and tell really good stories. And uh, JK absolutely killed it. It was a fantastic story. It was exceptionally well put together. <laughs> It's, it's really cool to see because I don't think a lot of us know where where the skiing came from. You know, I mean, where all this this idea of extreme skiing and right now it's like double cork selling this stuff. But back then it was like like Warren says, it was like just hammering turns down a steep face. But, you know, it's living ski culture. Uh, the Air Force is a synonym for ski culture, as a quote from the film. And I I think that anyone who sees the movie will uh, will definitely get that from it. I think that it's a, the new generation of movie making, ski movie making, and uh, like a lot of other people, I think I'm going to screw your life up when you're a little kid looking at my movie. And uh, but it's a big departure from what I used to do, and the audience really loved it, and so did I. And uh, yeah, with no further ado, uh, enjoy the show.